Hey fanatics, we got some fresh fanatic gossip coming up in this video, so stay tuned. Recently, Farrell had a fashion show. It was pretty impressive, but it has been making headlines for reasons other than the fashion. A lot of drama went on at the event, and it was not pretty. Kim Kardashian was allegedly bullied by a lot of the other A-listers, and it left her feeling pretty down. Is it true that the Kardashians are losing their relevance? What exactly happened? Now, we already know that Beyonce and Kim K aren't the best of friends, but it seems as though their feud finally reached a breaking point at the fashion show. First off, Kim's outfit was hated by everyone, fans, internet trolls, and critics alike. Well, you have to admit, it was pretty unusual, especially considering the vibe of the show. It just didn't fit and looked really out of place. No one really liked it. Many people found it odd that she chose to show up in a pixelated camo print top and fanny pack in the same pattern. People on Twitter, of course, were quick to attack her, with one person even saying, fire the stylist right now. Page Six titled their article, Kim Kardashian slammed for what might be her worst outfit of all time. The comments didn't even stop at the Minecraft comparisons. Even BuzzFeed fashion experts couldn't help but pitch in and give their two cents on her outfit. One of them even pointed out how these leggings technically fall into the same category as galaxy leggings, which were all the rage in the early 2010s. This is so ugly like camp was like 2019 or something. One Twitter user added, and another referenced the Beyonce song, Heated, specifically the lyric, that cheap spandex, she looks a mess. Some drew comparisons between the ensemble to a character from the video game Minecraft. Some people joked about how she looked more like a wax figure than a real human, saying that they thought at first that this was a Madame Tussauds announcement for a new wax figure. Kardashian had some A-list company by her side as she gathered with a creme de la creme of Hollywood, including Zendaya, Beyonce, and Rihanna, to witness William's debut as the creative powerhouse behind men's Louis Vuitton. The event marked a significant step for the reality TV star, who has been on a mission to establish herself in the fashion world following her split from ex-husband Kanye West. It was back in 2012 when their relationship sparked a fashion revolution, with West completely revamping Kardashian's wardrobe. From that point on, he dressed her in some of the most memorable and influential outfits, solidifying her status as a bona fide trendsetter. Now, years later, Kardashian continues to make her mark, standing next to and being dressed by some of the biggest names in the industry, and leaving her own unique style imprint. In fact, Kim admitted that she began suffering from panic attacks without West as her stylist after their divorce in 2021. The reality TV star explained on her Hulu series that she was really dependent on him, to the point that she'd take his advice on everything, especially on what to wear. But it seems that things worked out okay for her, because since then, Kim has gone on to work with some of the biggest fashion houses, such as Dolce and Gabbana. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. It was only after starting her collaboration with DNG that Kardashian finally felt like she was laying down her own path in the fashion world, without the help of Kanye. She said that she feels she's really grown and has found her own voice and doesn't need anyone's help to do it. You go, Kim. Now, let's get back to Beyonce and how she stole the show and how the other ALA celebs rocked a classy look while Kim looked like she just rolled out of the gym. Fans were saying that Kim's losing her relevance because she's no longer with Kanye. Beyonce, on the other hand, was the star of the show. She absolutely owned it and slayed like the queen she is. It was beyond anyone's expectations. Beyonce also had a meet and greet with all the other A-listers like Zendaya and the gang, but there was one celeb there who didn't even bother talking to. Yep, you guessed it, Kim. No front row seats for the Kardashian star either. Beyonce, Naomi Campbell, Zendaya, and Megan Thee Stallion had the VIP treatment, while Kim was left out. But hey, not taking pictures together doesn't automatically mean there's beef. Maybe they weren't even seated near each other or had a chance to bond. People always try to create drama, even when there isn't any. According to some insiders at the fashion show, Beyonce completely ignored Kim. She was friendly to everyone except her. It's like Kim was totally invisible in Beyonce's eyes. Instead, Queen Bey was cozying up to other celebs like Zendaya. Beyonce didn't even bother greeting Kim officially or taking any pictures with her. Zendaya was seated right next to Queen Bey, while Kim was nowhere to be seen. 
Poor Kim felt really sad about how she was treated. She was really missing Kanye. She may have found her own voice and her own path in her career, but we all know that if he had been there, no one would have dared treat her that way. In fact, she was even caught lip-syncing to Kanye's songs during the fashion show. Does she miss him and want him back? Now, here's the thing. Vans took to Reddit to trash Kim's looks and compare her to other celebs. Fans were quick to jump on the bandwagon, claiming that Kim deserved it because of what she did to Kanye. They were like, hey, Bay and Jay, everyone looks better than Kim. When has she ever outshined Beyonce? Ouch, some fans even felt that Kanye would be thrilled to see Kim suffer. Others argued that Kim's style was never good to begin with. It was Kanye who gave her any style. A close source to Beyonce spilled the tea and confirmed that Bay was allegedly trying to humiliate Kim. She couldn't stand the sight of her and wanted to put her in her place. The truth is, Beyonce and Kim have never seen eye to eye. It's not even a feud, really. We knew that Kim has always been obsessed with Beyonce, while Queen Bey has always brushed her off. You'd think that things would be different when Kim started dating Kanye, but they got worse. Beyonce and Jay-Z didn't even show up for their wedding, even though she was friends with Kanye. Beyonce has made it clear on more than one occasion that she doesn't want to be friends with Kim Kardashian. There's always been a weird coldness between the two. A source for Page Six said that the last time these two were together, Beyonce was itching for a chance to leave the conversation, and they always have really awkward pauses when they do talk. But Beyonce took it to another level in 2014, when Kim K and West chose to tie the knot in 2014. She extended a special invitation for Jay-Z and Beyonce, but the couple couldn't attend the wedding. The reason? A supposed family emergency. But the emergency didn't stop her from uploading a photo on the day of the wedding. Beyonce would have been wishing that the message was received. But wait, there's more. Remember how during Kanye's St. Pablo tour, he called out Beyonce on stage? He then talked about his hurt over rumors that she refused to perform unless she won Video of the Year. That incident revealed a lot about the dynamics of their friendship. Beyonce even allegedly gives Kanye a hard time whenever he's involved with keeping up with their Kardashians. Kim and Kanye's thirst for fame really irritates Bay and Jay, who instead keep their lives private. The two couples are always in a race to be the ultimate power couple. Kim Kardashian was pretty relentless in her pursuit of Beyonce's attention. When nothing else was working, she decided to switch her game plan, trying to use her wealth to win the pop star over. When Kim started her own company, she sent fashion merchandise priced at $10,000 to Beyonce. But Beyonce was not entertained by her efforts. Not even when Kim sent her contour sticks within gold boxes which were worth $150,000. But alas, it seems that Queen Bey can't be bought. To make things even more interesting, Beyonce allegedly finds Kim's obsession cute. Rumor has it that Kim sent her a fancy gift, but Beyonce actually gave it away as a donation to hospital nurses for their kids. The shade is real. Beyonce hates Kim's relentless pursuit of her attention. That's all for this video. Do you think the Kardashian era is really over? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!